restaurant is a chain of restaurants. The one we have here is the first ever fine dining restaurant to be built inside a women's prison, to our knowledge, anywhere in the world. The first three clink restaurants that we set up are all in men's prison, so we're really excited that finally we've got one in the female estate. We train prisoners in order to skill them up in their NVQs, which is a national vocational qualification. So once they leave us, they go into employment, thus reducing reoffending. While they're here, they do everything from working on the pot, washing the kitchen, through to serving guests. We have meters and greeters, work on the bar. We offer barista training, customer service training, silver service, banqueting. They also learn how to make all the food fresh, every skill set we provide. It's one of those restaurants that you would go to on a special occasion. The service is second to none and the food is absolutely exceptional. A lot of perception is it's a canteen, women wearing the uniform from the prison. They think they're just going to get served porridge. However, it's a three course fine dining a la carte menu with a high skill set. We've been on TripAdvisor, it's the number one restaurant in Cheshire out of 2017 restaurants. So we're all really, really happy with that. We're getting people coming in two, three times a week just to come and see the girls and actually building rapport. We've got one lady leaving and people are bringing in good luck cards. Often inmates will say the most terrifying point is when you walk out that gate and you have to be back in society because a lot of them don't know how to cope. So the clink represents a really sort of nice safe halfway house where the trainees are able to have that public exposure in a safe place but also the public who are coming in can sit in a safe place and learn about prison life and prisoners. We get ladies in who don't even say hello when they first walk in the door and six months later they're walking out with their heads held high. It's about giving them self-belief, the skill set to actually go and perform a job and we can actually get them a job when they leave so they won't re-offend. Our re-offending rate is currently running at 12%. National average is around 50% of all adult offenders. The clink concept can travel. At the end of the day, we're training human beings. People say what we're doing is revolutionary, innovative, and use all these fancy words. It's not. We're teaching people to cook. And quite frankly, that can be done anywhere in the world. They're a great bunch of girls. They work hard for me. They believe in themselves that they can cope with working in an environment like this. And it's nice to see them prospering, really. And hopefully, when they get out there, they're going to pick up a fantastic job and they won't be re-offended. We've had people go into Michelin star restaurants and lead law-abiding lives. And if the clink is just the first stepping stone to not re-offend, then that's good enough for us. Our hope is to very much carry on working with the government, the Ministry of Justice, the prison service, and carry on rolling out these restaurants.